Happening now, final checks are being made as the most advanced weather satellite of its kind is now getting ready to launch from our space coast. Uh, first warning, meteorologist Eric Burris is live at Kennedy Space Center today. And Eric, weather is looking kind of iffy for this launch. Yeah. Yeah, you know, at, at last update, it was a 30% chance of good weather for this launch. But, you know, SpaceX does amazing things. They always find that window if it's possible. But I think what's so interesting about the weather satellite having weather concerns is it's not necessarily a thunderstorm here at the Kennedy Space Center, but it's the blow off of thunderstorms that are further inland. Take a look, though. The countdown clock continuing, fueling here shortly, and then, of course, it will be launch time. Over 200 feet up on board, the first Falcon Heavy set to launch this year sits GOES-U, the most advanced weather tracking satellite ever built. And it's ready to help meteorologists all over the world with data updates every minute, high resolution imagery, and of course, a broad look at the world around. This is a tool to help improve forecasting from the United States all the way to South America. But here's something that you may not think of. While the weather down here on Earth is tough, it's those satellites that have to be tougher. We spoke with Lockheed Martin folks that built the thing about what they do after they build it to make sure it's good to go for years to come. Once they're launched, we can't go back up and repair them without a huge cost. So what we do to prevent any issues on orbit is to test them on the ground. We call it test like you fly. So we test it to extreme environments here on the ground, from vibration and acoustic testing to thermal vacuum testing. Makes sense, right? And interestingly enough, for this satellite, space weather happens to be its focus. Uh, if you remember a couple of months ago, solar storm that let the northern lights be visible all the way down here to Florida, that was a major event impacting cell phones, GPS units, and other electronics. And this satellite has tools to help scientists better predict and observe solar storms like that in the future, which truly is something revolutionary. Now back out here live at the Kennedy Space Center, blue sky behind the rocket, but looking inland, of course, there is a little more of a concern with those anvil tops. And the reason that that's a concern is static electricity. As the rocket were to launch, if there's any additional static electricity, it can actually trigger a lightning strike. But so far, so good. As long as that countdown timer continues, we'll, of course, be waiting with bated breath for a great launch. We're going to continue live coverage coming up throughout the newscast. As a matter of fact, Wait until you hear how long ago this state-of-the-art satellite was designed. And wait until you hear what's to come in the future. That's coming up all new at 5 o'clock. But for now, that's the very latest from the Kennedy Space Center. Eric Burris, WESH 2 News.